Yo, what is up there people of the internet? My name is Bear and welcome to another video. Yesterday, I actually did a different style of video for the best games of 2018. Be sure to check that video out. That video was awesome. I spent a lot of time editing that video. Really enjoyed that one. So if you want to see more content like that, then let me know. At least check that one out. Uh, but yeah, back to this video. Today, we have an awesome update for the Ben 10 remake. So let's roll the intro and dive straight into it. <laughs> Hey, what is up everyone? So today, as you can see, we are in the remake server. Today I'm in a private server. Actually, the private server of the owner himself, Sushi Walrus. Big fan. Um, so as you can see, there's a, a new character on the roster, but we'll get to that in a second. So first of all, as you can probably see, like right up there is a master control button. And if you click that one, you see a bunch of names. Um, and it's bound to a couple of numbers. And you might be like, what the frick is that? So, if I'm correct, because I, I'm not sure about this, but I've heard that everyone has this right now. Everyone has master control. What it does, you might wonder. Um, if you press one, for example, I will change into Stinkfly. And uh, if I press two, you, I can quick switch to freaking forearms or whoever you... You, you put into there pretty much like I can put a diamond head um, I'm I think it's one word so diamond head perfect yep see that works so as you can see I am now changed into diamond head forums got an update I'm definitely gonna show that but first I'm gonna check every alien for updates as usual so as you can see um, well maybe you couldn't see that but the the cooldowns have been reduced or Oh, bird. I, I couldn't tell you, actually, but um, Sushi's still tweaking the the cooldowns for every move, I'm pretty sure, because that is still a work in progress. We have to make... Sushi has to make that balance, has to make sure it's all doing great, pretty much. It's all, like, fair. But other than that, it just looks fine, in my opinion. So there is... Uh, uh, that looks pretty much the same for now. Yeah, it looks like Waltmood is still the same. Maybe his jumps, like, jump amount has been buffed. Could be wrong. So there's Waltmood, there is Diamond Head. I'll recover that. So, uh, I have a cool color, but anyway, this is four arms. Uh, he, I, I showed the basic hit attacks for four arms. I think nothing has changed about that. The E, we already saw. And then for the R right now, he has a pretty much a drum that knocks everybody up and does uh, a, a bit of damage. But I think it also knocks back enemies. But you can't really see that with these tests, uh, test dolls. But yeah, th that is also a pretty cool uh, ability, I would say, because it just it just makes every it, it's pretty much a crowd control, I would say. And then for F, which is his main ability, he jumps up and smashes down with a big earthquake. Which also, fun fact, uh, I'm just gonna press into accelerate. There we go. And then change it back into forearms. I'm actually going to switch diamond head with forearms here. Uh, forearms. So there we go. Perfect. So uh, there we go. Forearms. All right. So yeah, fun fact. If you press F in a different surface, it will be different. So I, I can I can show you real quick. I should... Uh, frick. I need to... All right. So actually, I wonder what happens if you do it in the middle. I will take the one you're most on I would say yeah it will take the one you're standing the most on is there actually a way to be like exactly in the middle uh, we'll take a random one anyway as you can see it will it will depend on the service like what will come out of the ground um, but as you can see there's a button next to it which which says C which I can activate and like yeah, you might be wondering what that is, but if I deactivate that, it will say ready. Uh, I jump decently high. Like, this was, I, I'm pretty sure this was how he jumped before. Yeah, yeah, this was definitely how he jumped before. If I press Z, and it's active, it will jump way higher to, uh, I, I don't know if that actually boosts the damage of your move. But let, let's check that out, actually. If I do it regularly, they will have, like, less than half health. If I have it active and press F from up there, it, it looked like that did less damage, actually. Uh, it's about the same, but 
anyway, you can jump up way higher with that active, but you're, I, I'm pretty sure, as you can see, that took one second to recharge. If I jump up now, there's like half a second recharge, so it will definitely, like, it buffs your, your jump, but it will give it a bigger cooldown. So that, that is quite a, quite a big difference. Um, but yeah, forearms punches also are stronger. So yeah, uh, but fun fact, stuff you can do with, um, Master Control. So she actually told me to show this in the video. So what you, what you, for example, can do is change into, uh, accelerate, run up, uh, jump up, change into forearms and then smash down on the ground. Or, uh, what actually was a good one he said is, uh, jump up with a character like Heat Blast and then smash down as forearms. It's, it's like combos like that. You can chain chain abilities pretty much as um, in this case. So, for example, yeah, you change into Accelerate, you dash over to someone, change into forearms, boost them out of the way, change into Accelerate again, drop down, maybe turn into Grey Matter. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. You can chain abilities. And I think that is a really cool feature. So onward to the star of the episode, there is Stinkfly. As you can see, he has a big aroma around him, uh, which I'm not sure what that actually does because I've been trying to figure this out. Maybe it's just aesthetics. I think it's a really cool particle. That is one thing. It looks cool. It, make, it makes sure you know that he is a stinky fly. <laughs> But as you can see, he doesn't do any damage with it. I thought it would be like a poison cloud-ish, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm wondering what that actually does. But at least it looks cool because there's actually something you can do with that. But I'll get to that in a second. So what he can do with his uh, with his E. So as you can see, he also has like unlimited flight. That's like all he can do is fly. You cannot actually walk on the ground. You actually just fly on the ground. Um, and as you can see, his animations are, like, cooler animated, like, and he just looks cooler overall, in my opinion. Um, it, it's an updated model from the previous game, from, like, the, the Arrival of Aliens model, but it's, it's, like, tweaked to look better and be better animated. And, yeah, I just, I just like Stingfly overall, it looks right now. So yeah, that is how he looks. Uh, his basic attacks are him attacking with his stinger. I can actually show you real quick what a damage, what how much damage that does. So you can use it for a little bit of range. That does like a little bit of damage, but it has a pretty quick cooldown. So it's like a, it's kind of like accelerates basic attacks. I didn't do a lot of damage, but you can do like a lot per second. He does a lot of damage per second, pretty much. It's like you do it pretty quick. So. Um, but that's not all. Uh, to be fair, Stinkfly isn't really a close-range combat um, guy, like Forearms, for example. So what for, um, uh, what Stinkfly can do with his E is shoot out goo, as you can see, and it will stick to the character. And I don't know if that actually makes the character slower, but if that's the case, that's actually really cool. I think it makes the character slower, but maybe not. Anyway, if that's if that would be the case, then that's insane. But um, and then there is, as you can see, the cloud just grew bigger. Why is that? Because I pressed R. So if you press R, the cloud becomes bigger, and that's where uh, I need some help. I'm pretty sure you will just become faster. So if I press R, I will. Yeah, you definitely. Do. Yeah, okay. You speed up if you press R. So it's it's a speed boost, huh? Um, so it's literally a utility. So it's not. It doesn't do. Any, it's not for damage. It's just literally for moving faster, which is actually I, I like that ability. I like that idea. So if you just want to like, for example, close the gap between you and a different character and just attack him with with melee attacks, you can by just pressing R real quick and moving in on them. Then press R and get out. Yeah, maybe somebody's chasing you. You can press R and get out. Get out quickly. Uh, the goo, or the goo you shoot out, does not have any, uh, it does not have unlimited range. It actually has a limited range, but it is still a pretty, like, as you can see, there, there is quite a large range to it. Okay, so he doesn't have an ultimate yet, but he does have some cool abilities. And the way you fly, this might confuse some people. If you look up, like, if you look into the sky and press spacebar, you will go up. And if you look down, it will go down. 
that simple. You just look up or down and you fly down. So for example, uh, you, you see a, a forearms in a distance, you, you press spacebar or well, you're like all the way up in the air pretty much, like going up, so you're following another stink fly, you're going in, attacking a little bit, you see a forearms down there that, that's looking at you funny, and you just go down, you just go down. And press R to go a little faster. And as you can see, you ascend and descend not as quickly, which I think is uh, actually a pretty great idea. Maybe it should be a little faster, but I don't know. That that's just minor feedback. But yeah, uh, Stingfly just looks great overall, in my opinion. And uh, I think that's actually gonna do it for today's episode. We we covered pretty much everything that has been updated. As you can see, the master control is definitely something. Um, to reckon with. I'm pretty sure everyone has it. If you don't have it, then let me know because then that way I actually know not everybody has it. Uh, but I thought that was the case. I could totally be wrong. Sorry, sorry if I'm wrong here. But uh, anyway, so yeah, as you can see, you can chain that with, with forearms to smash down quickly. So yeah, that, that's actually a, a good thing. You can you can change into, for example, heat blast here, jump up in the air, change into stink fly that way, or quite far up in the air and if you're like oh, I want to get down quickly change the forearms and smash down and that way it's easy to easy game so yeah uh, that's gonna do it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching be sure to drop a like rating on the video subscribe if you're new and I hope to see you in the next episode of whatever I'll put out be sure like I said to check out the video from yesterday it was a great video I spent a lot of time in it so I would really appreciate it so yeah, once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.